Hello, uh, my name is Brian Marr. I'm head of Ocular Oncology at Columbia University here in New York City, and I'm here today with Modulite and their new photodynamic laser here. Um, I work in on ocular oncology and I've been doing that for about 25 years. Um, we use photodynamic therapy as a essential tool in some of our uh, cancer treatments uh, for benign and malignant lesions and to preserve vision. Uh, photodynamic therapy has been effective in treating circumscribed choroidal hemangiomas, uh, which is the treatment of choice for symptomatic lesions. Uh, we also use it for metastatic disease, so in some cases where uh, tumors are refractive to uh, systemic therapy or vision threatening or small lesions that can be um, uh, treated with photodynamic therapy, we find a nice niche for uh, photodynamic therapy with that treatment. Some treatments of primary tumors, such as uh, amelanotic melanomas, in rare cases, specific lesions sometimes respond to that. Though it's not the standard treatment, it does uh, help in, in certain cases, is very effective. Photodynamic therapy can also be used for other benign tumors, vasal proliferative lesions, uh, exudative um, choroidal neovascularization with nevi that sometimes threatens vision. It is a nice use of photodynamic therapy to treat those patients with not, without causing significant visual loss, especially in the macular and foveal regions. PDT is a, a nice tool to use um, for certain lesions within uh, ocular diseases. I feel it's been kind of neglected over the years since the advent of uh, anti-VEGF therapy and many of the previous treatments for age-related macular degeneration have moved away from PDT and most of the lasers have come up fallen into disrepair and are hard to come by. And so from that standpoint, most young trainees have not been exposed to the uh, efficacy of photodynamic therapy. And I think that there are niches within treatment of retinal diseases and even in ocular oncology that photodynamic therapy is probably a preferable choice compared to some other treatments. A patient that I just treated with photodynamic therapy that had a amelanotic small choroidal melanoma that was treated in August of 2022, received one treatment of photodynamic therapy and you can see the large choroidal uh, mass with the subretinal fluid and on follow-up today, two years later, there's a flat scar with no signs of recurrence and uh, the uh, lesion has virtually disappeared uh, and you, you just see bare sclera with no residual um, defects in the vision still great. So this doesn't happen all the time, but in rare instances, sometimes lesions respond very dramatically to photodynamic therapy. So this is a great example and it's coincidence that it happened today when they were installing the new laser. You know, it's nice to have a new photodynamic laser. Uh, most of the lasers uh, that are available in the U.S. are much older and it's good to have a brand new one and I'm thankful for Modulite for going through the process to provide them in the United States. So we're looking forward to using uh, the Modulite photodynamic laser and looking forward to having uh, a good company to work with. Thanks.